What's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it's your man's Just Jay Sama, and today I'm doing a different kind of video. Um, I've just been really, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you definitely should, uh, I had a rant the other day, basically, I was tired of not making the content I want to make because of opinions of others and stuff like that, so I've just really, uh, been trying to get over that shit, and so now I want to drop some heat. Um, it's not necessarily heat, but we're talking about Hideo Kojima today, so if you can't tell from the title and the thumbnail, we're talking about PT. Now, um, me, as, as a person who plays a maybe not a lot of horror games but quite a few every year obviously for october except for this past year every year i always kind of go over some of the new scary games that i played last year was agony the year before that was outlast 2 and then the year before that was outlast and i think i also played alien isolation last year as well which i didn't finish so if you guys want to see that let me know uh, i didn't even make videos on it i still have all the footage for it too so um but anyway, today we are talking about PT and how Hideo Kojima is prepping up for a horror game. And that's the only reason why I say it's PT. Hold on, let me pull up the article here. So this is coming from Games Radar, uh, which, <laughs> such a trusted source, Games Radar. These guys, they're so great. I mean, they're not Kotaku, but I mean, still, whatever. Uh, so Kojima's getting ready to make the scariest horror game. I assume, headline title, you guys know how it is. We're, we need to actually take a look at the article here. So it says, now that Death Stranding has shipped, Hideo Kojima has revealed he started, he's starting to think about his next project. As we all know with Kojima, I mean, he does, you know, he never stops working on stuff. Actually, that's not true to say, because I, I feel like this man needs to take a break. I feel like after Death Stranding, this seemed like was such a colossal thing that he absolutely needs like some breathing time. I mean, as much as this guy works, I mean, I don't have Death Stranding, but I've seen a lot of it being played. I've seen a lot of people really enjoying it, which is super crazy considering it's a UPS simulator. <laughs> That's interesting. So, um, yeah, I, I just think homie needs to take a break. I think he really needs to evaluate, like, what is what is actually next. Um, so hopefully he's doing that. Shout out to him. So, uh, because now that Metal Gear is not a thing, and hopefully Konami doesn't go forward with any more Metal Gear stuff, because that worked out so well for the last one. Kojima has admitted in the past he struggles watching horror movies. It's, I mean, that's the whole purpose of watching horror movies. It's supposed to be, like, you're supposed to look away. Uh, but that didn't stop him from making PT, one of the most terrifying video game experiences we've ever played. Not only that, PT is probably the scariest thing that, like, I have ever seen in my entire life. Like, I have me experiencing that. I'm glad it was deleted. I'm glad it was taken off the PlayStation Store. <laughs> I, uh, that game is cursed. <laughs> so, uh, now it seems the fame developer is preparing himself to make the scariest horror game by watching the scary movies, by watching scary movies in order to awaken my horror soul. Now, listen. Hideo Kojima is a guy that makes very, very interesting games. This is this is known, 100%. Very, very interesting games. They're always strange, odd, different, I guess you could say. But innovative is also another word I would use. But for Kojima to decide he wants to make a horror game, I'm not really... I'm gonna be honest. I ain't really down for that. I don't like to evacuate my bowels anywhere in the house except for in the bathroom. The designated room that I'm supposed to go to. Kojima be really doing stuff that messes with your brain and it's just not great. Like, I mean it's great, it's amazing and that's the best and worst part. Like, Kojima's the type of person to make something and then embed not just a message in it so that way that's the thing that you think you're paying attention to but while you're actually trying to figure out what the whole thing is there's like people walking around in your room because you have headphones on and like shit like that you know he likes to really do immersive type of stuff and you know here's a distraction but i'm actually doing this thing over here like that's what he likes to do and i'm gonna be honest i'm uh, no please don't <laughs> So uh, here's this tweet, as to make the scariest horror game, I watch the scary movies in order to waken my horror soul. The Eye is the Thai horror movie I went, I rent, I rented, man, the way he types, yo. <laughs> 
So he rented this movie called The Eye when making PT, but it was too scary to finish watching. The packaging is scary, so I recent I, I rented the disc only. Will I be able to finish watching? Is man, you know what? This is uh oh, and it's a link to his tweet, his whole tweet. Okay, this is holy shit. Um, okay. I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess. I want to know what it's about. Let's see what the movie is about. Let's let's Google the eye. Um, the eye. Holy shit. Um, this looks terrifying. I don't even want to click images. We about to click images. Boy, what the fuck? Homie, homie G, homie G, what the fuck is this? I don't, um, excuse me? Oh, this one's mad creepy. Uh, no thank you. What the fuck? Oh, I'm not down with this. Mm-mm. See? Here's another thing about foreign films. Anything that is like from China, Thailand, Japan, Korea, when they make horror films, they're like graphically, they're some of the scariest fucking things I've ever seen in my life. Let's see. The Eye, also known as Seeing Ghost, in 2002 Hong Kong Singaporean horror film directed by the Pang Brothers. The film spawned two sequels by the Pang Brothers. Pang, uh, the Pang Brothers. Uh. Oh my god, they're gonna disrespect me for that. <laughs> the I-2 and the I-10. So, what the fuck is the I-10? Blind since the age of two, 20-year-old Hong, uh, classical violinist, undergoes an eye coronary transplant after receiving a pair of new eyes. Oh, I think I've seen this! And then he sees Ghost, I think. Let's see, she is glad to have the sense of sight uh, restored but becomes troubled when she starts seeing mysterious figures that seem to foretell gruesome deaths. What the fuck? Oh, uh, no, she can see Final Destination scenes. I'm good. I'm good on that, B. I'm absolutely good. <laughs> I'm absolutely good. No, thank you. Just when we'd calm down from the realization that Lisa is constantly stalking you through the PT walls, which is a video that they did. Um, another hack from YouTuber Lance McDonald. Yeah, he actually did a video that shows, um, I guess he, like, screwed with the game and glitched it and found out that lisa who is the scary chick um <laughs> she actually follows you around the entire time while you're playing an unusual bathroom scene in which lisa can be seen depict uh decapitated in the bathtub please only click if you have a strong stomach hello we don't let's click it anyway <laughs> let's see the unused pt bathroom scene is pretty messed up oh my god Yo, this is wild. Just when I thought I'd been through enough therapy from the revelation that Lisa is constantly stalking you in the PT. Oh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. They literally took this, copied and pasted this from the previous article. Okay. This is seven minutes long. I don't know if I'm down to watch seven whole minutes. This video may contain high impact gore or frightening imagery. Okay. Yeah, we... Okay, we get it. Blah, 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 you. blah. So much so that there are many occasions in which we All right, are homie, even... uh, McDonald homie, I'm gonna have to go ahead and, uh, mute this because, uh, I don't like copyright. Hello, bitch? Um... Okay, well, maybe the volume is important. Perhaps there's things that we never even got to see at all, left outside of the game and on the cutting room floor. Ooh, shit, I've never we seen that before. And today we're going to take Hello? And wholly new look at a select few moments from yeah, because if you look directly at it, like... Hello? You know what? Yeah, I think I think we get the... Certain conditions. Let's see, I think we get the gist of it. Hold on, let's see. Manipulation of static okay, hold on. There's Lisa. This too is achieved through the clever manipulation of static objects. Lisa is actually standing in the hallway here at all times. Really? A certain flag is only set to make her visible for just that one brief moment. Oh. If we catch the game so that the flag is instead always set, she appears permanently, giving us a rare opportunity to see her up close. Oh, that's okay. I don't want to see her up close, dog. I'm good. I'm good. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Homie G, what the fuck? Nah, okay, all right, I think we've seen enough. <laughs> all right, I think we get it. I think we get it, bro. I think we absolutely get it. Let's see, the end of the article ends with, uh, it's not like we got any <laughs> any additional information from it. And uh, I guess if you really, really wanted more info, you could go and follow Hideo Kojima, which for some reason, I don't follow him. Um, probably because not really interested in seeing his tweets. I want to play his games, not his tweets. So, um, yeah, but that's going to be pretty much it. I, have any of you guys, first of all, let's, let's, let's talk about this for a second. 
I'm as a person who played P PT two maybe three times at the most and ran through and screamed every single time I had to play it. Um, are you guys excited for this? Is this something that you're interested in? Basically, Hideo Kojima making not necessarily PT, but an actual horror game. Like, and if and if it was a horror game, what do you what would you guys want it to be based on? Just just a question. You know, I, I've always wanted a Jeepers Creepers type of thing where there's a murderous monster that's chasing you, but I want it to be more uh, stealth-like. Um, you know, that's just that's just something I would want, even though I'm fucking terrified of everything. So, but let me know your thoughts and comments and questions down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed today's video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. This has been your man, Just Jay Sama. Um, also, if you guys are interested, please scroll down. You can get memberships. Uh, memberships are now uh, available on my channel. You basically get behind the scenes content. You get, you know, exclusive live streams, exclusive pieces of content. When I start selling merch again, I'll, uh, there's basically gonna be a drawing between the people who uh, are subbed on Patreon and the people who are are, uh, I guess members here so all, everybody's gonna get a chance to get some free merch at some point whenever I decide to make that but if you guys want to make that jump scroll down there's gonna be a link in the description anyway I will catch you guys next time make sure to keep it